Welcome to my world. Everybody, this is Let Us See. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my link and checking me out. I'd like to say hello, and we're going to look into this freezer today. Go through all my Dollar Tree stuff I have frozen, things that are getting close to expiration date. I want to get used up and make some freezer meals with for my Tuesday and Thursday dinners. Because my husband plays guitar on Tuesday and Thursday. And I want to do some freezer meals so I don't have to cook. And I can just thaw it and heat and eat. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. We just defrosted this recently and it's already starting to snow up. But it's easily taken care of. Just recently picked up this garlic bread here from Dollar Tree. And it was fabulous. We're going to be doing a whole meal with this for lunch. Okay, we're just going to be looking in my bin here to see what we need to use. I've got some real cheese. They're five ounce bricks. Make sure they see real cheese on the package because some are for people with lactose intolerance. So, so always be careful. You know, I have Monterey Jack, mozzarella, pretzels. Those are good for a long time. Got breakfast sausage. I do have hash browns. This has been frozen for a long time. It expired in September. So that's not going to be no good. Their fish is really good at Dollar Tree. If you haven't tried it, please do. I just picked up some green beans. And I want to do a green beans, rice, and sausage dinner. The bacon's still good. I also have these Polish ones. I'm going to do the John Morel. I have some ground beef. I can show you how to use a Kraft macaroni and cheese box to make a hamburger helper. Dollar Tree carries Cool Whip, the name brand. So if you see it, grab it. These cheeses are really good still. We got the Italian sausage. That ham, unfortunately, has been in the freezer for about six months and it was frozen a long time ago. So that's got to be discarded. Now we're going to look in the, the bottom part of the freezer. My husband stepped out for a little bit. I hope we'll be up for a little while longer. Whenever I see these, I pick them up at Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a breakfast casserole. You can freeze breakfast casseroles pretty well. And the green beans for the sausage, the kielbasa. And then I got broccoli cuts. What do we have? This 
this is a stir fry blend and I love them because they have different types of bell pepper, broccoli, and snap peas. Let's see what we've gathered up here so far. All right. I have the kielbasa and the green beans. I have a ground beef with a stir fry blend. I have tons of eggs. And I have the breakfast sausage. Let's go over to the pantry shelves. I'm going to take a macaroni and cheese box to go with the ground beef and the vegetables. And rather than using the powder, I have a Velveeta cheese. And I have potatoes here, all from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree carries green giant potatoes. Here are three of the dinners that I took out of the freezer and some off the pantry shelves. I'm going to do a kielbasa with green beans and potatoes or let's swap the potatoes out and do a rice. And a homemade hamburger helper by using a Kraft macaroni and cheese box. I'm going to swap out the powdered stuff for the Velveeta cheese. And I'm going to do a breakfast casserole with eggs and the Italian sausage and the tater rounds. These can all be done in the crock pot too, which is awesome. And we're going to start with this one. And then I'm going to do a video on this. And then a separate video on this. So the next three dinner videos are going to be three great meal ideas from the Dollar Tree that don't break the bank. First thing we're going to do is pop this into the microwave. We're going to throw these into the crock pot. And then we're going to cut up the John Morrell sausage. I'm also going to defrost this for just a couple of minutes, although it's not necessary with the crock pot, but I'm going to be cutting them into nickel sized pieces. Let's get this into the microwave and plug in our crock pot first. This is my crock pot. The only difference between the crock pot and a slow cooker is the name. It all depends on what you prefer. At least that's what I've been told because I was always curious what the difference was. And I'm going to set that to low. And we're going to go over to the microwave and get the rice started. These can be found at Dollar Tree, and they're awesome. I get the jasmine, I get the long grain, and I get the organic. But the organic have been hard to find. Seconds is all it takes. And you let it stand for a minute. Let's add it, the green beans to the crock pot. Be careful when you're... Grabbing at your crock pot because the sides can heat up really quickly. Just gonna dump the entire bag in of green beans. For my spices, I'm gonna use garlic, salt, and black pepper supreme from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna throw this. Actually, this is soft enough to cut. I don't need to defrost it. I'm going to get this prepped while the rice is finishing cooking. John Morrell is a well-known name brand. And I like this type of uh, meat cut. My husband prefers all beef. Sometimes they have spicy on the label, so please be careful if you can't have anything hot. I made sure that this didn't have spicy on it. And this is a smoked one, and smoked is my favorite, whether it's all beef or not. Let's get that rice out of the microwave before we prep the, the sausage. Always be careful with the packages from straight out of the microwave. I'm going to let it stand for a minute before we dump it into the crock pot. I just grabbed it by the corner there. Boy, it's windy out again today. I can actually hear the wind howl. 
got my clean shears here. I'm just gonna cut it or in about a nickel size piece, about that thick. Now Jacqueline's not quite a vegetarian, but doesn't like a lot of meat. We'll eat certain kinds. It's a texture thing, I think. So this is perfect for just me and my husband. And if I don't tell him it's not all beef, or also he will not know. He doesn't watch a lot of my videos, so we're good there. And if you wanted to, you could even cut him again. Wash these off, and then we're gonna add the rice into the crock pot with the sausage. Cut the bag open completely so it dumps out nicely. If you're new, make sure you smash on that subscribe board because we do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We're giving away Amazon, eBay, Dunkin' Donuts, Burger King, McDonald's, Starbucks, Walmart, and Dollar Tree gift cards in $10 amounts, one per winner. Who doesn't want a gift card this time of the year with the holidays around the corner? You can re-gift it to a co-worker or treat yourself. Before we add in that sausage, I'm just going to get the rice spread through the crock pot. I could not believe Dollar Tree had green beans there. I heard about them being there, but I had never seen them there. That was a wonderful find. add about a cup of water so nothing burns. I have here the cutting mat from Dollar Tree. I buy a ton of these because I use them in my refrigerator to keep drips at bay and that way I just wash the mat and not the actual fridge. After I go shopping this week and I'm going to do a new refrigerator freezer tour because my landlord got us a nice one. Not too much water, because it's not soup. I always put it towards the rim of everything. Now we're going to season it with black pepper and garlic salt supreme from Dollar Tree. You can have salt if you wish. I'm not a fan of salt. Food has salt in it already, so I don't need the extra salt. And I'm also going to put in Dollar Tree onion powder. If you have real onions, you can add that, or you can even grab the peppers and onions from Dollar Tree if you want. For the giveaway rules, if you want in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days in order to qualify once again. You must be a U.S. resident and subscribed. When you subscribe to the channel, make sure you tap on the bell and click all notifications so you don't miss any of my replies. And always pay attention because if you don't reply within two days, you'll be disqualified. The rules are in my description box down below with my email address, which is contributes1268 at yahoo.com, and my Facebook page and group, and my photography page, as well as the links to Instagram and TikTok and our playlists. I'm going to just mix that well. Now the sausage is fully cooked, so basically all you need to do is cook the green beans. So about two to three hours on low in the crock pot is all this yummy dinner is going to take. I'm going to cover it, and then I'll show you later what it looks like on a plate. In the next few videos, we'll do the homemade hamburger helper, 
and the breakfast casserole with the tater tots. What this kielbasa rice and green beans looks like from Dollar Tree in the bowl here. Awesome, easy three ingredient dinner with little to no effort. Grab yourself a ladle. I'm gonna scoop out. Oh, it smells incredible. Perfect for a damp day. This is gonna feed at least four with some leftovers. I'll show you a close up. Here is what it looks like in the bowl. Put all that kielbasa, rice, and green beans, and it smells incredible. Perfect, as I said, for a damp day outside, rainy day or snowstorm. Beautiful dish for a nice cozy meal to warm your soul. Don't forget about the giveaways. If you've won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days. Comment, become a part of the growing community if you're new so we know who you are. And please be kind. We're a friendly community. If you want, you don't answer within two, you'll be disqualified. This information is down in my description box below with my email, which is countryboots1268 at yahoo.com, as well as our social sites now, including Instagram with Facebook and TikTok. If you're on any of those sites, feel free to like our page, join my group, and follow us on TikTok and Instagram. My playlists are also listed down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a great day. Now the other two dinners are going to be separate videos. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing.